This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Tired of missing out on figures or paying scalper prices at toy stores? Then go ahead and visit DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. You can get 10% on anything Transformers, accumulate points, and sometimes score an exclusive figure you thought you'd miss forever. Head over to DJC Collectibles and start saving today. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane, and today we're doing part 2 of the Jinba O Oversized Predator King figure with this guy which has huge wings fantastic i love the color but you know we're gonna review him uh he's the right arm uh i believe uh, and it's just it's a good toy easy transformation uh it's the same plastic quality as razor claw uh which seems to be like an older style of plastic but it does the job and he's a way better figure than Razor Claw. So let's take a look at that. But before I do that, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, and also the interview playlist if you want to hear stories from the uh, voice actors. And now let's roll the intro. And now with part two, the accessories. You have those two little head wrist cannons, uh, really well done. You're gonna put them here and then forget they exist. Cause that's, you never have to take that out, you know. He's leaning forward, come on man. Be majestic, you have a beautiful wingspan. Be majestic, there you go. You have those uh, weapons that they kind of look like Kopesh. They just need that little extra piece here to make them look like Egyptian Kopesh. I really like those. Uh, the Kopesh is probably one of my favorite ancestral sword. Uh, so yeah, it's completely unpractical, but I, I like I like the design of this. And this he can put in his hand, I think. Uh, you know, you'll notice most of the weapons are hard to put in hand. Oh yeah, he's one of those that you can't really put it in hand. So what you do is you put it here or downwards depending on how you want to display your figure. Come on. It's not easy, there you go. So that's one display option. Of course, the back will somehow fall once in a while. Let's remove it, but it's a beautiful wingspan. Each wing, except the first one, is individually articulated. Uh, so when he's uh, dive bomb, you can, you know, put it uh, shorter, but when he's predicting, you can like, whoa. So anyway, and then you have the big connection here. And he connects in the back of Dive Bomb with those four pins that go in those four holes. Oh, I guess you can also use the big one. Uh, can you? Yeah, I guess you could. But it'd be really hard to get out, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, so yeah, so let's put him back here. This keeps moving. Let's remove this and this. Just to give me more room. Then you have this, which is a sniper rifle, and it's really well done. That's gonna be part of the gun. I wanna remind everyone to check out the two shorts I did, one for the assembly of the gun, and the other one for the assembly of the sword. And you can see them like on that little gray thing that appears once in a while in this corner. Nice gun. Uh, this, the guns are way easier to install than the weapons. And so that's a nice sniper rifle. It doesn't really have the head movement to be able to properly uh, line up a shot but you know use your imagination uh, figure itself looks really good uh, it's the same older type of plastic like it's glossy or I'm not good it's not matte it's not shiny it's it's I don't know it, it looks more like play school play school plastic like the rescue bot seems to be made of that kind of plastic very sturdy you know so that's I don't know a good thing maybe oh I did not know but you can remove this piece um, okay maybe for transformation for the uh, Jinba uh, the, well the Predaking mode maybe that's gonna make sense you have the tail that flaps in the back kind of a, the same connection you had on razor claw except smaller uh, you do have a, uh, a Oh yeah, you have an ab crunch, I guess, for the transformation because of the joint. Can I pop it? 
If I remove this, not really. But I mean, you do, you see it here. If I remove this, you see a bit of a, I'm guessing this pops for the arm mode. I just don't want to force it right now. Uh, but yeah, I mean, nice uh, yellow, the red, you know, standard color with the gray and black and then a bit of gold here. Looks really good. Nice feet. I have to say that the feet for him and uh, Rampage, very well done. Um, if you don't know what you're doing with uh, Tantrum and Hardhead, you're going to cry. Um, but yeah, so yeah, nice, uh, you know, that the chest piece moves here because of the uh, the joint here. Uh, we'll see that later. Nice head sculpt. Um, yeah, it's a nice, uh, nice figure. So you have a lot of attitude left or right, and then you have a good, well, up on, uh, up and down because of transformation uh, mainly, but uh, looks really good. You have your full Ferris wheel, no problem. You have the arms that go out like this, double jointed at the elbow, uh, connects for the transformation. You have a movement like this at the wrist. His hand is properly lined up with the joint so that you can, you know, have him hold guns and stuff like that. He doesn't have the razor claw syndrome. So that's nice. You have your uh, merry-go-round, no problem. Oh, I just realized I forgot to show that with uh, razor claw, but you might have a Johnny Cage, no problem here. Actually, you can get more than a Johnny Cage. You could get a crotch killer. You have a knee band. You oh yeah, you do have a rotation underneath the tie, and then you have a ball joint foot. So you can have your rocker and tilt, no problem, and then back and forth. Great for posability. So yeah, he looks he looks really good. I have to say, not gonna complain. All right, let's uh, compare him with a couple of figures. So here we have. I'm gonna leave the wings out, but here we have a uh, dive bomb with. Another flyer, Deluxe Shard, uh, one of my favorite legacy figures. The color is amazing. Core Class Rat Trap from Kingdom. And Masterpiece Sideswipe, the MP12+. Plus. Just to show you, you know, how bigger they are than uh, Masterpiece. And now for the transformation. Pull the, you know, beak out and you can lift this and then you can move this to kind of lock the whole thing in. So you have your head. You know, easy enough. Fold the arms in. Close uh, the arms so the pin goes into the pin hole. All right. Then you do have lift this. Might be simpler. Lift this, and your reflex would be to put this inside this. It's not. So you want to fold it over like that. Fold it over, and then you just need to line up the sides of the foot with the joint. And come on. Oh, come on. You're the easy one to do. Come on. There you go. And then you clip it over here. Same thing with the other. Line up properly. Push out and then clip over put this like that and then clip both legs together so from underneath it looks like this but then you want to take oh actually no you don't clip him yeah 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 he's one that he's a different like that you don't clip him together because here you unfold the um, the foot the talons and then you rotate this like that and this is how he's displayed in the instructions you know with the head out like this and of course with the wings and this is whoa so heavy come on you can do this no you can't let's move it a little closer no no there you go for five seconds is gonna stand. So that's your dive bomb in uh, the eagle mode. Uh, a nice predator, nice predacon, love it. 
uh, looks good. It's the wings, right? The wings make all the difference. Uh, if they were terrible, then you would look terrible, but they're nice, so it looks nice. And from the back, you know, you have this. Now, they tell you to put the sword here if you want to display them like that. There's really no spot for the gun, except, well, yeah, there is one, but it kind of looks weird. But you can put this here like that. Because this one here is, well, it fits, but this hits the back, so it's it's not all the way in. But it's a display option that I probably won't use. So there you go. That's dive bomb in bird mode. And now let's, again, do the only really real comparison that I want to do. If this would stop moving... Well, let's stand him on his wings, I guess. Oh yeah, the wings are, are articulated this way, like that. So you can get some nice stop motion stuff, I'm guessing. I don't know, I don't do stop motion, so. But I am impressed by it. So there you go, let's put him like that. And let's put in swoop. And this is my first time playing with a stand. And I have to say that it's, it, I don't know. It, it feels so unstable, but I mean, it stands. And I have to say that I like this, the look of these two together. That's and I know IDW or Dreamwave had some story where this guy stole this knife. Like, come on, would you really see the name Dive Bomb on Swoop? Come on, it, it looks stupid. It would sound stupid. So there you go, Dive Bomb and Studio Series 86 Swoop. And now let's go for the limb mode. Galvatron, this planet is contaminated. Which shouldn't be too complicated. What you do new, do need though is the fist, which comes with either tantrum or art head. So that's. It's kind of weird because hard head comes with the foot and the hand so that you can make this piece and this goes on his back. So I don't know, but let's remove this and you know, see what we can do. So basically you remove this cause that's going to go in the back of Predaking. And what they're telling you to do is lift the head, set it down, leave this like that, uh, fold this like this. Uh, no. Like this. I don't know why, but no, no, no. That's that's the way. No, no. Sorry. It's like this. Uh, I'm looking at the instructions, but and then you take the hand, and it has to be. Is it this one? Yeah. Because you want to have your thumb. Yeah, this way. All right. Sorry. So, and then you have holes on the side like this uh, come on and then you have the clip which uh, I clipped earlier without realizing I didn't need to and now it's not lined up all right there you go nope Uh, that imagine that would be you know final ah there you go and it would it was broken and I couldn't get a, a fist that'd be terrible so now you have this and then oh there's a oh you flip him like this but you flip this back there so that this will be used for the connection of the arms and they're putting this like this. That's odd choice. I guess. I guess it works. So what's this then? You don't use that connector. Huh. They really tell you just to... Unless you want it to be like... A, I don't know. It's weird. But you're going to use that connector for... And then all they tell you is to push it down like this. So I guess we're done. That seems a little odd. Maybe I'll realize something in between here and the uh, assembly. Or during the assembly, I'll go, oh. Because right now, I don't know. This They tell me to put this like this, but it kind of blocks the thumb. But we'll see. I mean, it, it does look like an arm. I mean, if I 
there's no clip but if I put it like that you know from the side you have this so we'll see so anyway unsightly ending for dive bomb but this is the arm mode that I'm gonna use for that predicate so there you go guys I hope you've enjoyed this if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment love reading those keep coming back I have more on the way and remember nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole take care